Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Woodruff. I was about ready to leave my clinic today and I was reminded uh, of a story, a uh, patient encounter. It's not really a story, it's, it's actually a research study. And here's how the study went. Scientists wanted to study human behavior through uh, the behavior of monkeys, draw inferences from there. So what they did is they took five monkeys and they put them in a cage. And in the center of the cage they had a stool and then they hung a banana from the top. So, of course, with a banana hanging down, although it sounds stereotypical, the monkey went up and tried to get the banana. The, uh, um, when he went to grab for the monkey, the scientists doused the other four monkeys with water. So, you know that didn't go over well with the other monkeys. So, they reset the banana, and sure enough, the other monkey went up to get the banana again doused the other monkeys with water. So here the one monkey went to grab the banana twice and the other four got doused twice. So they do it a third time. They rig the, the banana and that same monkey started to go after the banana. But before he could reach it, the other four grabbed this monkey, throw him down, and they start beating him up. So what the scientists did next is they took the one monkey and removed him from the cage. And they brought in a brand new monkey. Now this monkey had no idea about water or anything. He goes up, tries to grab the banana, and the other monkeys pull him down and beat him up. And there's no water being used at that time. And so what the scientists did is they systematically removed all five of the original monkeys, one by one by one, replacing them with a new one. And it eventually had, got to the point where there was five monkeys in that cage who had never seen the water, been doused by the water, or anything. Yet any time one of the monkeys would go up to get the banana, the other four would bring them down and punch them, beat them up. You know, if monkeys could talk, if you ask them, why are you guys beating up the other monkey? I think this is what their answer would be. It would be because, well, that's how things are done around here. And you know what? I think that applies to healthcare. We're applying old approaches that are ineffective. If you don't think so, look at our opioid crisis. Look at the, the record numbers of surgeries. Increased chiropractic visits, physical therapy visits, and yet we're all in chronic pain. There are more gadgets on TV to get out of pain and to help movement than ever before. So obviously, the way it's been done around here isn't working. There's new science out there, new ways. And one of the things that is really catching the eye of a lot of scientists is vibration, vibrational therapy, and neuromuscular modular innovations. That is what we do. The results I've gotten in my clinic have been phenomenal. I encourage you, go to my website, take a look. Look at some of the, the information that's on there. I think you'll be amazed, and at least it will open your eyes, that you know what, we don't have to do things just because that's how it's always been done. Take care, have a good day.